Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today I accidentally, well not today I guess, but when I did the Twitch recording, I accidentally started playing again with the starting soon screen still on. So there's a little bit of that. I cut out most of it. I think it was like two minutes. All I was doing was basically going through the quest log, kind of double checking, you know, re-remembering, re, re, re <laughs> reminding myself. Uh, what I had done and what I needed to do and what I was currently doing. So yeah, but you'll see like there's like 15 seconds or so of that at the beginning and then I realize like, somebody tells me and I'm like, oh, thank you, you know. So But then from there on, things are smooth sailing for the most part. Uh, audio is a little bit weird again. I once again have to start uh, put, like putting it together by hand, but it's not as bad as it was before. And I think I switch off the software I'm using fairly soon once more and never go back to the old one because it was a pain in the butt to even record on Twitch with. Anyway, thank you all for listening to this long intro. I appreciate it. And even though this video is probably late in the day today, I'm dang near gonna be getting it out today. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And the actual video will start in a second. Kendra, Kendra, Zuaha, give me a data pad. Jolie. Uh, strange stowaway. Oh. I need... We are on Dantooine. And I need to find somebody who can help her. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's fine. Oops. Nope. Uh... That one. Thank you. Totally... Totally messed up there. That was that was my bad. My bad. Anyway. <laughs> it's just a charming quirk. All we do is watch rain droplets fall. You know what's funny is like I, I, I was looking at it earlier and it was funny to like hear Star Wars music while looking at the like, you know, stream starting soon screen with like greenery and like rain falling while you hear this like ominous music in the background missions brothers sand people gizka okay so do i have to go back and tell that woman that she needs to go live a real life now Nurik denies any involvement in Shen's disappearance, but her hasty tells another story. She says her father has been has captured Shen because he believes that Ahlan has his own son, Cassis. Shen is being held in the Shandral estate. Rahasia, Rahasia has given you a key to the rear entrance so that you may help him escape. Perhaps you have not met their most powerful members. Crap, there's Mandalorian raiders everywhere. What the heck? Rain droplets. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rain, you're a hoot. Hmm. So we have to leave. And she gave us a key to the back door. I don't know if we should help this guy escape, though. Is the thing. Flying manatee! And I'm manatee. <laughs> Manta ray! <laughs> It's a flying manatee! Yay! It's fine. I loved biology class growing up. I'd make up my own biology class, like, like, extra credit assignments, and I had a teacher who would actually take them just because I showed initiative by making up my own assignments. Oh, wow. Oh, man, this game in modern graphics would be so cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I cut up frogs in biology? No. We didn't actually get to dissect. As far as I remember, I moved a lot. So, like, I think a lot of times I missed different parts. I dissected in college. No. No, it wasn't high school. I took an anatomy class, and I dissected, like, a shit or a, a sheep brain. And I dissected, like, a pig heart. And... Something a couple of a couple other things. The sheep brain really stuck with me though. That looked really neat. It looked very interesting. Alright. I'm just unsure if <laughs> ah! I'm unsure. 
sure if I should be doing this. Oh god, because I don't know, like, this is the guy, like, I don't know, does he actually deserve to be caught? Like, is this girl, like, trying to, like, get people in trouble? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, okay, it was just, okay, one. Like one shot. Can I not do anything with this? Huh? Can I not touch it? What? What? Okay. Is this is this a, this is a side quest, right? Yeah, I want to get all the side quests done. I'm on Dantooine, right? That's where I am. I guess I have no idea. Yeah, I'm on Dantooine. Okay, here we go. Nice. On it. Done. Ooh. Thanks. Anything? Uh huh. Whoa. Yeah. Hmm. These are nice rooms. I like them, actually. I like the greenery. Remains. Oh ho. Basic target computer. Okay. Security room. Yee! Wow, their security droids are not great. Not impressed. Boy, uh, Undertale sure looks different. Hey, you know, there's, uh, there's upgrades and there's downgrades. And and then there's and then there's complete overhauls. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Undertale is not. It's a little boring. I don't know. Like I keep. I, I get kind of frustrated with the constant. Like. Like instances, you know, like where, you, where you're walking around and all of a sudden, like Pokemon. It's like Pokemon where it like. You, you're constantly having those interactions. I don't know. Nothing seems to be really happening in Undertale. But I, I know I need to keep going. But it's, it's a little, I don't know. It's not like grabbed me yet, you know. I have a lot of computer spikes. Haha, <laughs> that's where we are. Well, it's not constant interactions when it's just the same, like, little tiny, like, I don't know, the mechanics of the fighting is really boring. Like, it's not interesting. Like, I know, I'm not, I probably, I'm not saying the words right, but like, I'm not having any actual meaningful interactions. It's just constant, like, walking through grass and finding freaking Zubats, you know? And it's the same every time. Corrupt sentry droid targeting program, overload computer power conduit, okay. Okay, so there's a couple things I could do like that. I'm not really wanting... Ooh, download area schematic. Cool. Oh, nice. I don't have to walk around blind. I don't really want to, like... Like, do anything to the bots because they're so easy to fight. Uh, 
Undertale reminds you of Japanese style RPGs. Yeah, I mean like Pokemon. But no, that's why I'm saying Lemon Z is that I think I need to I need to get further in the game, but just right now it's not it's not grabbing me, you know? I was expecting it to because it was so hyped. I was expecting it to really get me right out the get go, like right out the gate, but it hasn't yet. So and I've played for like a few hours. But I know there are games that you need to like you need to like really get going into. And I'm not gonna abandon it. It's just it's not like super high on my priority list. Items lost, but also items gained. Dun, 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 dun. I wish it would tell me. Holding cell. Holding cell's over there? Isn't this the front? Well, we came in the side door, and this is the front door. And the holding cell's right there? Well, I'm gonna go through all of these rooms first. Took you about two hours in a Mass Effect to get into the game? I feel that. Doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> Mission. You're in comfy clothes in a bed? You know what? What kind of friends are they if you can't be in your comfy clothes in your bed when they show up? And you just like, you're like, just ring me when you get here and I'll leave the door unlocked. <laughs> I'll be in my bedroom. <laughs> Taking a nap. Yeah, exactly, Rain, exactly. Right now, Lemon Z, I am in my onesie again because it's freaking cold. But you have pride? I don't. <laughs> You're trying to get into God? Really? You can't get into God of War. I mean, that game is supposed to be super de duper great, you know? On it. Done. Done. We're so sassy. I don't know, there was, the like, the original Gods of War never appealed to me, so I was kind of surprised that there would ever be a way for the new one to be interesting, you know? I'm just gonna go wreck every day. Are you, like, stunned? Oh, you're a faulty war droid. Leave it alone. What is pride? Onesie, where's the cam? I think I look so dumb in this onesie. I don't think I'll ever put it on the cam again. It's just so cold in the basement. It's like literally the warmest thing I own. Boys, I'm trying to get to this footlocker. Prison key? Oh, ho! they just leave those in a uh, random chest, do they? You watched a Let's Play of it? Oh, that would, uh, that would explain it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I gotta kill all the things. That's one of the reasons I haven't actually, uh, watched a Let's Play of it is because... Is this the... What? There's, like, so many doors I didn't... Aha! Uh -huh. Die! Die! Not all of these have parts I can pick up, which is a bummer. Large locker? A sonic rifle? Boy, howdy! The new God of War is a great story and characters, but the game... See, that's the thing, is the gameplay for God of War... I mean, I don't know. I do like... I liked the old hack and slash. Like, I thought it was interesting looking. Um... I don't know. I'm trying to open this locker, and my dude's getting in the way. Frag grenades! Light scan visor! Nice! I scan if anybody's an, a light side person. You see that? They're sparking, I think. What a nice little detail! 
even in with with ye olden day graphics, I think those are supposed to be sparking. That's where I came in. Okay, I believe the problem with like having the whole map open to me is that I uh, then I don't know where I've been and where I haven't. Yeah, yeah, no, and that's yeah, it's kind of hack and slashy like Devil May Cry, but but it's a dumbed down version apparently. Lemon Day. Like I didn't I didn't know what it was, but yeah, you have slumped. From the way, <laughs> just call your friends and be like, hey, you know what? Something came up. You know how it is. We all don't want to actually have any plans. Let's all just go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. I should take a health thing. That blew up on me. Rude. On it. Yo, what up? Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? I am here to rescue you, Shet. What am I wearing on my head? Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too You're dangerous. You're a coward! I'll protect you. Let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying I to convince it. her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. Uh, what if we take her with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go... Then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Oh my gosh. They're in love. It's Romeo and Juliet. Why do your families hate? It's just, there's like absolutely no reason for their families to hate each other probably. It's just because they had nothing better to do. My father thinks the Sandals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he's earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares Oh my for gosh. Me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. Okay. All right. We're Romeo and Julietting up in here. Did I go in this room? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, did I? On it. Done. I didn't. Maybe I didn't do this one either. No, I did. Yeah, okay, all the rooms that I've opened are okay, 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 good. I just didn't do this one for some reason. From Ancient Grudge Bears New Mutiny. Oh my gosh, we quoting Shakespeare up in here. Can we go for something less tragic than Romeo and Juliet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make sure both of them get out alive. Romeo and Juliet does suck. No, Romeo and Juliet sucks. It's a stupid story. Uh, It's just really frustrating to read. It's like, you stupid kids, you have so much to live for, and you're gonna do that. Alright, cool, fine. Love is dumb. They're not even in love, they're just in lust with each other. They're literally not in love. It's just like, he like literally saw her and was like, oh, she's hot, I want to bang her. And she was like, oh yeah, he's pretty hot, I want to bang him too. And then turned into this whole like, like dramatic, like, I'm going to kill myself. Like, oh my gosh, it makes me cringe. Hate it. Yeah, exactly. They never loved each other. Not once. They never, never, ever, ever, ever loved each other. They literally saw each other once and were like, she's pretty hot. Yeah, he's pretty hot. Let's bang. And then that was it. That's all. That's all it was. And then it was like super over dramatic. Like, like if you won't let me do what I want, I'm gonna kill myself. And then they actually follow through with it. And then they regret their actions. 
Uh, yeah, except me and Rain have a better love story than Romeo and Juliet. It actually makes me angry inside, Ro like, to, when I think about actually Romeo and Juliet, it makes me angry. Shakespeare tells you that at the start when Romeo is pining for the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! No, exactly! No, and that's the other thing, right? Is that Romeo is literally, like, this guy who, like, sees a pretty girl and goes, I'll die without her! La, 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 la! And then he sees another pretty girl and he's like, Wait, no! <laughs> I've changed my mind! He's, like, the most fickle man in existence. When people fall in love but die, but it's different when it's like something that's like they're freaking adults for one thing They were actually in love for another thing and yes It can create like sort of this like tragic backstory type thing, but if it's like If it's it's so shallow. It was so shallow Like there was no meaning to anybody's death. They literally just had temper tantrums and decided to kill themselves over like seeing a pretty face like there's no depth to that there's no substance to that it's literally meaningless it was so frustrating Blah! all right let's go what are you doing here have you found shen yet he uh, trying to rescue shen but he won't leave without you shen can be so stubborn sometimes. oh cute if one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. Wow. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. That was, uh, that was fast. Okay, that was easy. That was quite easy to do. Quick, let's go. Oh, hello, Gat Max Nub. Welcome. <laughs> hello, hello. Quickly, we have to go and make sure this not Romeo and Juliet story plays out better than the stupid Shakespearean Romeo and Juliet story. Uh, the point of the whole thing was meant to be exploring, holding a grudge, and all the youth and innocence to get effed up because of that. Yeah, well, it sure did. But, like, the love story was dumb. Like, the other stuff it was saying was like, yeah, like, it was fine. But, like, the fact that, like, it, it's not actually a love story. It really is just, like, but when you look at it from a love story point of view, it's a really, really, really crappy love story. But if you look at it from the point of view of, like, ancient old grudges that don't actually have any meaning or purpose, and it, the, the only thing they do is make people suffer, then, yes, it makes sense. But as a love story, it sucks. I feel like you're mad at other you know, maybe it is. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mad at other people who romanticize it. I guess Romeo and Juliet just isn't it's not a good love story. Like it's it's a good commentary on like society, like, but it's not a good love story. I think that there's there's that. We'll go that's what it is. Yeah, Lenzi, you're right. That's what it is. It's a good story. It's a good, it's a good social commentary, but it's not a good love story. I'll, I'll, uh, I can live with that. Didn't teach Shakespeare to you properly. <laughs> You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Oh, welcome. Official ways. What's it? <laughs> Official. Welcome. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then. We must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen. Yay! Rahasia. Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done you for us. You guys are so cute. I don't mind at all. Uh, we should get out of here quickly. We should get out of here quickly. You're right. We should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right. We should. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, is that his dad? No! Oh no! There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Wah. Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Alan! I Wah, knew this was all names. your doing! I knew you had captured my <laughs> son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? Ha 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 ha!
Midsummer Night Dream with more drama and action. Nice, nice. <laughs> it's all about high drama in the hot summer. <laughs> okay. You two just need to calm down. Please listen to her father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that sandral heart. <gasps> My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog. Uh, why don't you try listening to your children? Our children don't know enough of what's good for them to make a reasonable decision. It's better to let older, wiser no. heads like ours make You guys decisions. are literally being well, dumb! I don't want you to make decisions for us. We want to live alone away from you. You, you insolent boy! If you want to live alone, then so be it. I disown you. Never set foot in my house again. Uh, no, they're like older, wiser heads. Blah blah blah. I mean, it's like they're the ones that are like holding guns and pointing them at each other for absolutely no reason. When their kids are like, "Can we just chill and not have this stupid like social commentary thing going on right now? Can we just like..." not kill each other for no reason there's some jedi things going on yes please everybody calm the frick down rahesha you will not leave with this this metale this boy is a classic. i am father I am. and you can't stop me we're leaving for the enclave you foolish girl bye bye dad oh, we're leaving look at him go go my children be free have a good life Take care of yourselves. <laughs> Leave your stupid parents. Uh, there is Shakespeare in the. This is yeah. This is Shakespeare in the Jedi Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. This is this is essentially Star Wars Romeo and Juliet. Um. Do not be so selfish. No, no, no. Do not try to force them to return. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter. Droids, don't let them take Rahesha. We appear to be at an impasse. <laughs> and they got We're away. We're at an impasse. It is your fault, Alan. You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids. Oh my gosh, these guys. Uh, well, and did you hear what Shen said about his dad? He's like, his dad, he's like, he's always been a little bit violent, but I think he still loves me. I'm like, my dude, that is like the biggest red flag for an abusive father relationship. Like, wow, you need to, you need to leave. You need to leave now. Have a good life with no home or work. Ah, uh, they're on the Jedi planet. They'll be able to get work at the Enclave. The Jedi's will help them find some work, and they'll be be happy. There's always an as aspect of Romeo and Juliet-esque themes underlining them before it turns into a Fro Freudian nightmare. What? Just get, I know, right? Just use the cutscene going. And they, that's kind of what I was doing. I was watching them run during the cutscene. I was like, okay, if I wait long enough, they'll be out of range. Oh, you do. Both of you, calm down. Or just shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Do not tell me what to do, Jedi. The Council will hear of the trouble you caused here today. Indeed they shall. Indeed they shall. Whoa. Just, you know what? I'm sick of it. You know what? Both of you just shut up. You're irresponsible parents, irresponsible ha family leaders. You're just bitter old men. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it no more. I know, I was surprised I didn't have an option to do any of the, like, persuasion things. Go to the cave. Oh, crap. Uh, where's the cave at? Is that... On the other path? Oops. Bitter old men armed to the teeth. Yeah, but I'm a Jedi. I don't, I don't fear bitter old men. Cave entrance. Okay. Boop, 
their droids were like literally two shot. Like, Candrus and Caden took care of them very easily. I didn't have to do anything. Save. I'm glad that turned out okay, at least so far for those two. I was kind of worried that like one of them was gonna try to betray me or something like that. Or like one of them actually sympathized with their parents or something. It's sort of a twist on the Romeo and Juliet where there's like, act it's not actually Romeo and Juliet at all. But nope, it was straight up classical Romeo and Juliet. And we're gonna cut it off there. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, by the way, I don't hate Shakespeare. I dislike Romeo and Juliet as a love story, but I was a bit fiery that day. And I'm not apologetic for being fiery, but I don't hate Shakespeare, so don't don't take don't don't have that as the takeaway. I just don't read him a ton, and the ones I have are old to me, and I'm just not a big fan, but I appreciate that other people are. So that's totally fine. If you love Shakespeare, you just you rock on. Do do you? Anyway, I do like some Shakespeare's. Just not Romeo and Juliet. So anyway, thank you all for getting to the end of this if you managed to get here after all that, and I will see you in the next one.